and welcome back today we'll study about the laws of reflection in the last class we study about the incident ray what is incident ray a ray of light which strike which strikes a reflecting surface is the incident ray and the second point is that point of incidence the point of incidence the point at which the incident ray strike the reflecting surface is called point of incidence and reflected ray the incident ray which reflect reflects after striking reflecting surface is called reflected ray normal the perpendicular drawn at the point of incidence is called normal angle of incidence the angle between the incident ray and the normal is known as angle of incidence. Angle of reflection. The angle between the normal and the reflected ray is called angle of reflection. That is what we learned in the last class. I hope that you still remember this. You have to understand this. After that, we will learn laws of reflection what are laws of reflection we have two laws of reflection how many laws we have yes we have two laws of reflection that is the first the first in the first law the incident ray the normal drawn at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane and the second law when a ray of light is reflected by a surface the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection okay it's very easy we have only two the first one we'll explain again the incident ray the normal drawn at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane the second law when a ray of light when a ray of light is reflected by a surface the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection okay here I, yes i saw you this these are beautiful reflection which you can see it's very very interesting subject you can see because of reflection you can uh their beautiful display here we'll just go in detail again when a ray of light strikes the boundary of, of two media such as air and glass the part of light is turned back into the same medium that is reflection of light in other words we can say that bouncing back of light a highly polished surface such as mirror when the ray fall on it it bounces back and the perpendicular drawn in the mirror that is 90 degree is the normal you can see here the incident ray and reflected ray the this the source of light which is coming from the source the light this is the incident ray after reaching the mirror here it bounces back that is the reflected ray and the perpendicular means 90 degree is the normal and what is angle of incidence yes angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal this is the angle of incidence and what is reflected ray the angle between the angle form between reflected ray and the normal Once again, the, from the source of light, from the source, light is coming and striking the mirror, which is a polished surface. After that, it bounces back. The, the ray which is coming down is the incident ray, and the ray which is bouncing back is the reflected ray. And the normal is 90 degrees, the perpendicular with the reflecting surface, that is with the mirror, is the normal the angle between incident ray and the normal is known as angle of incidence it is denoted by small i and the angle form between reflected ray and the normal is called angle of reflection it is denoted by small r once again we already know incident ray the ray which is coming from the sources the incident ray after reaching the mirror it reflect back it bounce back that is reflected ray incident ray reflected ray this is the mirror this is the source from the source light is coming and when it reaches the mirror it bounces back incident ray reflected ray 
and angle of incidence what is angle of incidence the angle between the incident ray and the normal is the angle of incidence and angle of reflection is the angle formed between the reflected ray and the normal is angle of reflection